Hi, we're out here, everyone knows who I am. Um, I'm a uh, deer hunter, photographer, been hunting for well over 40 years. Um, some may have seen some of my old footage, some may not have. Uh, as I said, uh, why I'm making this video today, sad day really, because we're back in lockdown again for not just CBD of Melbourne, but regional Victoria. And that happened, this is Saturday today, and people are probably asking me why I'm here. Well, I'm in my rules and regulations of what lockdown is, you know, no further than five kilometres from your, your, your house. I'm out on my own doing what I love doing. COVID-19 is probably an insidious disease that we haven't really grasped at this point in time and our experts are chopping and changing. We've got controversy state to state on certain things. Um, I know our politicians have taken medical advice to a point, um, but as I said, uh, they're all different. They, they're trying to get through it the best way. And um, this Delta variant now is a strain that I, I'm not a no medical e expert, but it affects everyone, young, middle-aged and older people, which I'll probably be in that third category, old. Like, fortunately, I'm fit, fit, fit guy, but it still ki kills people that are fit. You just happen to be the unlucky one with DNA that this COVID likes to latch on and it'll kill you. But mainly what I'm here to talk about is I'm out here photographing and there's a few deer. I'm no f further than five k's from my my um, my place, and uh, well, well, I'm less than five k's. But as you can see here, it's it's a beautiful area. It, it's it, perfect vegetation for all sand and hog deer. We've got both here, sand and hog deer. And you can see just behind me here, there's a game trail. And there's deer tracks on that now, two days old. And uh, perhaps later on, I will um, I will um, suss it out here. But I know from two two days ago, I was here and I photographed and. Uh, didn't actually film them, but I photographed them because it was getting on late afternoon and anyone knows about photography, um, you need to have good light um, to get good photos. Once it gets dark, well, that's a whole new ball game. So I'll, I'll talk a bit, a little bit about photography, but uh, I'm happy to be here now on one of the fortunate ones where I can actually go out hunting not far from where I am. Hunting with a camera, not with a rifle. Uh, those days are over for me, and a lot of people ask me why I don't hunt anymore. Well, um, probably the main reason is I, I want more of a challenge in my life. I've done the hunting, and uh, I, don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy it. It's a young man's caper now. Um, I can't get the adrenaline rush where I can with through a camera trying to get in close to a deer, and uh, that's what's what I'm about now. I, I enjoy my photography more, plus it's not all about the deer. It's about everything. It's about the environment, where the deer live, and what lives in that and habitat with, uh, with Samba. And I love photographing raptors, native birds, uh, any animals, uh, and trying to capture that, that moment. It doesn't happen all the time, as I said. We've got whipbirds here. I, as I said, I've got a few photos of whipbirds and I've got yellow, honey, yellow, yellow um, helmet honey eaters and uh, scarlet robins, wrens of all sorts, thornbills, everything here, which is in our habitat of the deer. The deer use them as a signal. Uh, as I say, a lot of guys, oh, yeah, you know, I've thrown up a bird photo. Um, I'm trying to teach guys, it's if you focus on the deer, your experience as a hunter and being a good hunter, uh, it, it's narrow vision. It's not focusing on what, what's the surroundings or what the deer live in. They use birds, they use animals. That's, that's, they haven't got eyes, but they've got ears and they hear sounds and they know the sound of a stalker or a hunter. And they know the difference. And if a, if a bird alerts that area, 
that's their, their, their environment. We're, we're alien to it. This is what I'm trying to get through from my, my posts on YouTube, is to be a good hunter, and I think I'm a good hunter. I probably see more deer than most people would see. And um, I have probably over the years. I've photographed more deer than most people. But in saying that, that's great. There's a lot of guys now seeing, seeing it. You don't have to kill everything to, to be a good hunter. The deer, you've got to remember the deer, it's their environment. They're trying to survive the best way. This COVID is great for the deer. You've got, they've got no, less hunters in the bush. Uh, if I was a sand bell, I'd say bring, bring COVID-9 on, wipe the human race out completely and get all the nuff-nuffs out of it. And what I mean nuff-nuffs, I'm talking about those people that uh, don't understand nature. And we're, we're part of that nature thing. When I hear someone say, oh, you, you killer of a deer, or someone's killed a deer, and if the person's killing a deer, they're doing it for a reason. It's either for meat or because they want to be out there. As I say, these people are so naive to what we do as hunters. And it gives me the shits every time. Excuse the French, but that's what it is. There's hunters and there's the others. I can categorise that, but I won't go into that. Probably the one I will categorise a little bit is spotlighting. These people don't are unaware. They don't see see it under fair chase conditions. I have I have lots of mates. They get so frustrated. They they be going in and spending hours, and they see that deer it grows up, and then they drive up and they see see either a pile of blood on the bitumen road or a gut bag. They're not hunters. To me, they're scum. And, and, and my biggest argument is the government over that. The government don't seem to be a don't. We've got GMA. Nothing compared to what we've got in Europe or in America. If it was happening, what's happening here, they should be confiscating vehicles, gear. These guys should be working. These blokes, or people, I should say, I won't say the blokes, these people should only be walking out with their underpants on and taking everything and then and follow up. They need to be set examples that this is not what we are about. Because we all get brushed under the same table. Every time they say, oh, there's a deer there, oh, just more hunters. No, that's not the case. We, we've got a role to play, managing these samba. And um, this is what gets in my craw all the time. Three things they're really good at. Hearing, smell, and the eyesight is probably the third thing that lets them down a bit. But still, once you move and you show, indicate, they can associate the smell with hearing, their eyesight's pretty good once they, they target you. Um, the other thing is too, I, as I say, I, I, I do a lot of footage with my binoculars. I haven't got them here today. I'll, they're back at the vehicle. I might go back later and I'll get them. But, what I'll do is I'm going to do a review on on binoculars. Now, for years, for 20 or 25 years, I've used Leica binoculars. Brilliant. But I'm I'm easy got sort of a guy. I'm, technology's got better, and there is other quality optics out there that that are either as good as, if not better. And what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll probably do which I think are probably the best two, two optics on the market at the moment. There's probably a, there's a third one pretty close. It'll be probably Swarovski, uh, Leica, and probably Zeiss. If I can get my hands on a pair of Zeiss, which I, I'll probably be able to. And we can do a little bit of a review on it. Being a photographer, I know a little bit about what, what you've got to look in, in, in optics. First off is quality. I'll bring up a couple of words that you probably won't understand. Chromatic average, that's fringing around your optics. You, you lose, you don't get the sharpness. You've got uh, true colour, um, depending on coatings on what lenses. Um, optics that, that suits hunters, uh, more hunter, hunter orientated. Um, and probably the most important thing is, is Customer service and and warranty. They're the, probably the most things. If you got buy these things, they're not cheap. They're 
quality optics are fairly expensive, but once you've got them, you need that back up there. And I'll, I'll do a little bit of a review on that later on, so um, stay tuned. Now, I'm off hunting now, fellas. And